Well, hello everybody. This is Lisa De Nicolets, writer for a year, and we've actually taken this on the road, and we are here at CIUT Hall, and I'm here with Ian, and the door just opened, but Ian's going to introduce <laughs> I, himself I'm anyway. I'm Ian Williams, <laughs> author of reproduction. <laughs> yeah, we're about to go on radio right now. <laughs> and we're not freaked or anything. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. And now I'm with Sally Cooper and her book, Smells Like Heaven. And I can't wait to hear what Sally has to say. Sally, do you want to say anything to the hordes of people out there? <laughs> hey, I don't know what to say, but hey. Thank you. Hordes of people. Hordes of people. <laughs> Thank you. Come up with um, things that are actually, you have to take it to the nth degree. It's like, well, if you have this character and you really, really allow them to do their worst, what would that worst be? And I find as well that definitely Bernice came to me more as a character. But Leonie, I thought I had her fully formed. And then actually a good friend of mine, also a very excellent writer, Terry Fabra, she said to me, I'm not getting this person. I don't understand her. And she sent me back to the drawing board with her. And that was when Leonie really came to me. And now she's one of my favorite characters ah. because all of her you know, idiosyncrasies and the way she sees life, um, it was really quite revelationary. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go that was our visit to CIUT Howl writer for a year and I hope you guys had as much fun as I did thank you very much good night <laughs>